Welcome back. Now, in the previous session, we created a very simple layout for our web page. Now, the one thing that I didn't do was to save it. So we are going to save it because we're using this web layout basically to create a template for the World of Music site. Now, a template is basically the house style, the look and feel of every page, the general look and feel of every page throughout the website that will, that will be, give it consistency and that will give it a brand, um, a, a consistent brand. So even though the main content of the page may, may change, the general look and feel of that page should be consistent from one page to another. And you, do, you achieve that by creating what is called a template. So we're going to use the basic layout we created in the previous lesson to, to build the template, which is the house style. So if you haven't got it open, open it. But this is where we left off when we created the basic um, page layout using a table. You'll notice that it's untitled and that there's a star there. So what I would like us to do immediately is to save this page. So click File. Now you're not going to use Save or Save As or Save All. You're going to save as a template because this will form our template for the rest of the website. So click Save as Template. Ensure that it is saved in the right site. So here you want to make sure it's saved in the World of Music site, the right site and then just give it a title. So I'm going to call this WON World of Music Template. In fact, yeah, Template. And click Save. Now you'll notice if you go to the title area here, it is WON Template, but notice that it is .dwt. It's not a HTML file. Because this is a template file, it's .dwt. And remember, the template file basically gives you an outline of what the house style is. So the first thing we're going to do is put in the colors. So for predominantly, the colors that operate in my particular world of music site is going to background in red and highlights, sorry, background in black, highlights in red. So I want all the major areas like the header, which is the top area here in black, this area, the footer in black, and the navigation area in black. The actual content page will be in white. So you need to have your property inspector showing and um, in order to make these changes easily. Let's click in the first cell, which is this cell here. And if you move down to the property inspector here, you will see it says cell. Uh, here it says cell. And here what we want to do is you need to change the background color to black. So select the black and click off. So that area is now black, which is correct. Now it also, the logo is supposed to sit centrally in this area. Sen it should be centered horizontally and vertically. To center the logo horizontally and vertically, you need to make sure in that cell, the default horizontal position is center and the default vertical position is middle. This is where we're going to put our logo. So you see the cursor's flashing in the middle. Now to put the logo in there, go up to Insert, Image. Now find wherever you put the image. It may not be in the site already, but if it's not, when you insert it, it will be pulled in. So what we want here now is to look for where we ha have our logo. And you're not looking for the PSD. That's not what you need to use. You need to use the image version, which is the JPEG or a PNG. Click the logo and click Open. And the logo, as you can see, fits snugly into that area. Now we need to do the banner. Click in the banner area. Again, come down to the Property Inspector. Make sure it's, you can see cell. Again, you want to make sure that it is centered horizontally, centered in vertically. Here you want to simply make sure it is a background color is the same. So for mine, the house style is black, so I'm going to ensure. Click away from that, so it's now black. And then again, go to insert image, wherever you put your banner image. So I'm looking for the banner image, the JPEG, not the PSD, the JPEG or the PNG, but not the PSD. And then you click it and then you make sure 
you insert it. So it's sitting horizontally in there. Okay, so I've got my banner, I've got my logo. So the footer, I'm going to make black according to the house style. So I just click in it and again, come down to here, just to ensure you've selected your color, click away. It's getting together, it's looking good, it's looking good. And then what I want to do is I want to center it horizontally. Center horizontally, center vertically. Once I've got that, in this case, I'd like to put a copyright symbol. So I'm going to go into insert. To put a copyright sim symbol, you need to go into insert, down to HTML, move across and go all the way down to character at the bottom here, and then put in copyright symbol. I know there's a shortcut key, I think it's um, command D, but I'm not sure. So that, now why is it not visible? I'm sure you're wondering why it's not visible. This is where you now turn to CSS and you come across to here, make sure that your color is either white. I'm gonna make mine white so that I can actually see. And now you can see the copyright symbol. So this is copyright uh, world of music 2019. No, it's 18 actually. So there, my site is coming together nicely there. So that's the logo, the banner, the copyright. So that's the first stage of my template, looking good. So all I'm going to do now is to make sure I save this template. Hold on one minute, I don't know what's going on there. Just save it to make sure everything is, is um, saved. The template doesn't have any editable regions. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. We'll come to the we'll we'll come back to the editable regions, but just this lesson is about inserting, creating the look and feel of the house style, which is about the logo, the banner, the footer. Oh, and yes, the navigation area. Now this navigation area, we're gonna we'll hold the navigation bar. We'll build the navigation bar in the next lesson, but again, let's ensure that the house style is is applied. So here, this time, horizontally, I'd like it to be, the default's fine, but vertically, I'd like it to be at the top, because my menu is going to start from the top. And then I'd just like to do the background color, which is black. So that is the beginning of the house style, the template. Um, we haven't completed it, but that's all we need to deal with in this session. The logo, the background color for the logo, the logo inserted, the background color for the banner, the banner inserted, and the fact that they are vertically and horizontally set in the middle, both the logo and the banner, the footer, background color, and the fact that the copyright is inserted, and um, it's vertically and horizontally centered, and then the, the navigation bar is ready, it's got the, the house style color, which is black, and it's been aligned um, vertically to the top. So let's just save that. And that's uh, the template doesn't have, no, it doesn't currently have any editable regions. Click OK and it's saved. So that completes that stage. So can you try, try, try out the techniques I've shown you and then meet me in the next lesson, which whereby we'll put in the navigation bar.